So uh, this is the first time Kuwait hosts this summit. This must be very important. It is one of the most important summits that uh, Kuwait is hosting, especially at this very delicate time in world, uh, regional and Arab uh, politics. Uh, we are grateful and uh, gracious that uh, His Highness uh, Sheikh Sabah Ahmed, uh, Al Sabah Amir of the State of Kuwait, will be presiding uh, over this important uh, event. Uh, uh, he is well known for his uh, uh, fantastic diplomacy and I'm sure that uh, with uh, his uh, brothers, the uh, leaders of the Arab world, uh, we will be able to chart a course uh, out of troubled waters into the more calmer waters, hopefully, inshallah. Okay. What has been uh, said over and over again, and uh, the actual motto for the summit is uh, uh, cooperation for a better future. And we need to uh, cooperate, uh, set aside our differences, and uh, uh, agree on uh, what we uh, and, and, and actually uh, uh, focus on what we agree on for a better outcome and future for our peoples. And this is what uh, we will be uh, discussing over the next two days, inshallah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, could you comment, please, on uh, the the Kuwait's old ministers of Kuwait uh, preparations for to host this summit that's hosting for the first time? Um, it's a great honor to uh, have concluded uh, the 25th uh, installment of the Arab League Conference uh, under the uh, presidency of uh, His Highness uh, Sheikh Sabah Ahmed Al Jabir, uh, Emir of State of Kuwait, and uh, it's a great honor uh, to be a part of this historic and momentous occasion in which uh, well over 25. Uh, government uh, entities uh, cooperated in order to uh, receive uh, Kuwait's guest. Uh, I would like to thank uh, all uh, Kuwaitis and expats uh, that are viewing, uh, and I'd like to apologize for uh, uh, the traffic, maybe, and uh, a bit of uh, uh, the teething problems that we had, but uh, it's over now, and uh, uh, it's part of uh, Kuwait history, and uh, we look forward to uh, uh, the next big issue on our agenda, inshallah.